Guillain-Barré syndrome, so the so-called GBS, is an autoimmune neurologic disorders that uh, can cause uh, persistent sequelae. And uh, uh, there were in the past some authors that associated the GBS with the use of vaccines. In uh, the last uh, 15 years, uh, several studies have shown that there is no association between vaccine use and GBS syndrome. And now there are some new reports that show uh, that the, the experience that occurred several years ago uh, among soldiers uh, with the use of an old influenza vaccine at the end uh, was not uh, a, a real demonstration of association of cause-effect uh, relationship, uh, but that at the end vaccinations are not linked uh, to uh, the uh, development of this disease. This is an important point because uh, uh, the uh, new data and the recent publications shows First of all, the fact that vaccines uh, don't cause GBS. Secondly, the fact that in patients uh, with a previous history of GBS, uh, there is uh, uh, no contraindication uh, towards the use of vaccine. And then that those with a family history of GBS or other autoimmune disorders don't show any kind of risk in receiving new vaccines. So I think that these new data highlight the fact that uh, there is a relationship between the use of vaccine and the autoimmune disorders, and that the use of vaccine in patients with autoimmune diseases is safe with any risk of uh, autoimmunity that can develop in addition to the underlying disease. And finally, I would like also to uh, underline the fact uh, that uh, when we consider a patient with an autoimmune disease that uh, take drugs like biological drugs or corticosteroids, at the end, uh, in these patients, the infectious risk is higher than in the healthy population, and that the use of vaccine is absolutely safe and uh, has an important role in terms of prevention in these patients.